right, so uh, we're back with another video. We're working in good old Fredericksburg, Texas. Small job, but I want to show you guys how we do things on small jobs. We take on small jobs, big jobs. It doesn't matter. Medium sized jobs. So, anyways, uh, we're going to be painting the bottom portion of this mobile home. It's a uh, hardy board siding. The lower portion is going to be painted red. It's pretty much like the skirting. So the first step was uh, we power washed. Well, the entire trailer we power washed it. Then we came back and we, as you can see, we we masked off the top portion because we will be spraying this. And the bottom portion right there where the foundation is at, we're going to go ahead and uh, just shield it. That's why you can see everything's already all covered up. So yeah, the whole lower portion is going to be that, uh, that red color. It's going to look real nice. And it's faster if we spray it and looks nicer. If we cut and roll it, gonna take us a lot longer so take you guys a little tour around here all the bottom security is gonna get repainted my guy right there is masking masking everything off because we're gonna use this paint sprayer I'm gonna use a small tip a 213 211 and just adjust the pressure on the paint sprayer so we don't have that much overspray. And we're stopping right there. This front portion where the carport's at, the homeowner requested that she didn't want to paint this, this front side. So, so there it is guys. Quick repaint. done the hard parts masking everything off and make sure that it's not too windy but I think we're good man good little project I'm gonna be using some Sherwin Williams paint using that 1040 Titan paint sprayer this way we're gonna be using uh, some Sherwin Williams paint. Exterior. How you need? Oh, this is it. Exterior A100. Satin finish. That's what's gonna go on there. It's a uh, rustic rustic red it's a nice color it's gonna match all the trim and everything so all right well, show you guys when we start painting and just keep on because you then you know you can mark up the wood like that You the cracks in the, the, the pit, right? Next. A little on that one. Well, check it out. I'm going to yep. do this number now. Yep. This is not really hit, bro. At a, at a, at a net slant angle. There you go. Yep. She, she mentioned that, bro. Mm -hmm. So we have to do that number. Because inside the cracks, it wasn't really getting too good. Dang, what the hell's going on there? There it is. Okay, Nick, we're here. Now, right here, we don't want to paint the foundation, so we're going to use a shield. What we do is uh, just put the shield right underneath here, and then just spray it up.
you gotta make sure you, you hit it kind of heavy because uh that way it'll cover and kind of spray it from angle to angle to get inside these little joints I see it. Watch your hose so it don't kick up. Alright. So we just gotta keep on doing that all the way down. Alright, when I was doing the video, I was doing it by myself, but uh because my guy here was uh he was filming, but uh usually it takes two people to do this. He's shielding and I'm spraying. Just wanna show you guys how we do it. You gotta make sure you hit the corners, man. Hit the left and then hit the right. So you won't leave no freaking holidays. See how he's moving it? Works better with two. Throw a heavy coat on there. Be scared. Oh shit. There it is. Right there, Nick, right there. Go up a little bit, bro. See, we got no paint on the foundation. Make sure it's not gonna look good. All right, all right, all right. That's how we got it going on right there. Going all the way down there, all around the trailer. That's how you do it. All right. There you have it. We're all done. The finished product looks like all the security. The lower portion of the mobile home got repainted to match that trim color, which is called rustic red from Sherwin Williams there it is and then vents too looks good all underneath the stairs all right there that's it all done